patients ask that all the time, you know, what size should I be? And, and really, there is no right answer to that, but they have to have some understanding about the impact of the size of their breasts on so many different things, their lifestyle, their activities, their clothing, but there really is no right size for one particular patient. There are advisable sizes, and there are sizes that patients may want to be based on perhaps some goal that they have in mind and an appearance that they would like to achieve, but certainly we don't think that the patient has a single right size they, they ought to be. And the right size does matter because we, we know that patients who don't have the size that they need and the volume that they need will struggle in a lot of ways. If they're too small, of course, they're going to have a lot of difficulty fitting in clothing. They're going to have to do a lot of padding. When they increase their size, they have to be careful when they come up. Going overboard and being too big will for sure create more problems. It creates proportional problems. They lose that hourglass. They can look overdone. They can look like they put on weight. So if we can get them, those patients who are doing a breast augmentation, to get into an implant that gives them a pleasing amount of fullness, allows them to get out of padded bras, and approximates as closely as we can the fullness that they're after, then we've done a really good job in, in getting to that point. When we look at the patients who are going to benefit from becoming the right size, honestly, we see that probably the breast reduction patients benefit the most. I certainly find it to be a more challenging but also a more rewarding procedure. So breast reduction surgery is certainly one of my favorite procedures to perform and we know those patients uniformly across the world are some of the happiest patients that ever come through a plastic surgeon's door.